What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here, outside of Goodwill. We're gonna go inside, go thrifting. I don't know how much stuff I'll find. It's been a little slow lately. Hopefully, we can find a few things. It's gonna be a quick in and out. It is 12.52, and it is starting to really rain. It's also very cold outside, so you can see all the leaves are gone. So we gotta head in there, and let, let's see. I wanna get at least $100 worth of sellable items. Let's see if that's possible. So first things first, take a look at these. Video games, brand new video games, right in the glass case, right when I walk inside. We got the Disney Aladdin Lion King, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Dark Souls on the Nintendo Switch, all brand new besides that Modern Warfare. At 30 bucks for a used Modern Warfare, there could be some money in it. Um, I actually left it. I didn't even look it up. Look at those $25 Xbox 360 remotes right in front of a $15 Dark Souls. Um, I did notice some consoles down here, and I see that $25 price tag on this Xbox, so I'm assuming both the controllers are included uh, to make the whole deal $25. Still, those controllers were in really rough shape. That's something I'm not interested in. I do come back to the glass case later, and you guys will see I do grab some of those video games, so definitely already making money there. 15 bucks for brand new video games that just came out. That is a great deal. Checking out the toy section now, I find these huge laser guns. I got two of them in my cart right here, $8 each. Those white stickers mean they are target clearance items. So, Goodwill will buy items from Target. Here's another white sticker. Uh, same thing with the box next to it. We got these Fortnite things. So Goodwill will buy items from Target, put them in their store, and then sell them at a slight markup. So maybe they bought this slime thing for a quarter to 50 cents, and then they sell it for a dollar. They bought this Monopoly gun for a buck 50, and they're selling it for three dollars. So that's kind of how they do it. Um, they just buy it on pallets. They probably buy it cheaper than that, but that's just uh, what I'm guessing. Uh, this Monopoly money would have been worth it, but you could tell the box is kind of damaged. There's Sharpie on it, so I left it behind because it just, <laughs> you know, the box was too damaged. I wasn't worth anything in used condition, only new condition. Now, all these Star Wars toys, only a dollar each. I did look them up, but you could tell most of the boxes are damaged. There's Sharpie on them. This will happen with a lot of Target clearanced items. Now, you can get the Sharpie off of them by using a uh, like an Expo marker or even some rubbing alcohol. We'll take that Sharpie right off. So, I don't worry too much about that, but when the box is in bad condition, there's not much you could do. I thought this was kind of funny. Look at that. Ocean State Job Lot, $5. Goodwill, 6 they they didn't even bother taking the price tag off. You would think that they'd price this at two to three dollars. I decided to look it up anyways, and guys, it was worth money. That's awesome. So I'm gonna grab it anyways, even though I am a little upset. <laughs> I don't like when thrift stores price higher than the original price on the box, but it happens every once in a while. But if there's money to be made, I'll still do it. Now I've actually sold this chess computer, not this exact one, but little chess training computers before in the past. Most of the time I find these, they do not have all the little pieces, but I threw it in the cart for safekeeping. Same thing with this glove. I threw it in the cart for safekeeping at a dollar. Hey, you can't go wrong, right? Um, that's just kind of what I do with a lot of items. I walk around the thrift stores and I just toss them in my cart and, you know, I look everything up later to see if it's going to be worth it. Now, that glove wasn't really worth anything, but this $2 DVD is, this Black Klansman, I believe. Um, that movie, I think, just came out last year, so it's definitely worth some money, especially in brand new condition. Uh, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just grabbing brand new things. These CDs are used. I could have looked them up. They might have been worth some money. Probably not. Like I said, right now, I'm just trying to get around the store. Um, see if I see anything new, anything that looks unique, and just toss it in my cart, and I will look everything up later. And of course, after we're done inside this thrift store, I will bring you guys with me to the back of the car. We will go through everything. I will tell you guys how much money I expect to make on this stuff. And I think I did pretty darn good. I wasn't in here for that long at all. Now you can see the cart, the chest computer I kept. I'm opening it up, seeing if all the pieces are in there. And uh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But look at that. All the pieces are still in their spots, which is awesome. The battery compartment is not corroded. It's in really clean shape. So that is something I would most certainly grab. And you can see in my cart, we are getting loaded up with items. We have a whole bunch of these light bulbs, some CDs, some video games, which they're holding up front for me, some big toys, 
Guys, I think we did pretty good in here. I mean, we're in maybe 30 minutes or so, if that, inside of this thrift store. So I think it's time to head out. Go over everything I picked up. You can see 50% off yellow tags. Let's go. Let's see how much money I made. All right, guys. We just left the Goodwill standing out here hiding from the rain underneath the trunk. And this is everything I purchased uh, inside of there. I had a couple things left over in my trunk. I did not purchase that or that Mr. Clean thing. But we're going to go through it all real quick. Did I get that $100? Do you think I made $100? Well, we're about to find out. And these light bulbs right here I paid $2 each for. They're all brand new. After fees, I will make just over three dollars, like three and a half dollars on each of these. Uh, so we'll just say what seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, right there. So that's not bad. And that's after fees, guys. This I'm gonna sell over on eBay. It's a brand new DVD, Black Klansman. This uh, two dollars sells for about twelve to fifteen dollars. So after shipping and everything, let's say I sell it for, uh, I don't know, let's just say fifteen, right? And after shipping and fees, I'll probably profit around nine bucks or so. So that's not bad. The Aladdin Lion King, I would only profit about five bucks on it. There were two in there, but one of them was kind of ripped open. And if you hear, the disc is loose in here. The disc was loose in the other one as well. I bought it for myself. If I wanted to sell it though, we're looking at another just over five dollars profit. This Dark Souls game. $15, brand new sealed. This we're looking at about $20 profit. This Laser X was $8. I had two of them initially, and when I got up to check out, I flipped it over, and there was a big, like, rip in the back, and there uh, it was all destroyed, so I couldn't sell that as new on Amazon, so I just got this one to sell on Amazon. I'm going to profit about $15 or so dollars on this. This chess computer, guys, very surprised to see all the pieces in here. Uh, $4.00. This sells pretty easily over on eBay for about $25 to $30. Uh, it is a little heavy. I don't think it will fit in a padded flat rate. I'm not 100% sure there. Hopefully, I can sell it for $30 after fees. Hopefully, I make about $15 to $20 on this. And then this, I was kind of surprised. It says 5 right there. They were charging 6 Whatever. You know, I scanned it in. Uh, kind of a high rank on Amazon. It's going to take a little while to sell, but with Christmas coming up, I'm not super worried. It is brand new, mint condition. So I'm going to peel off all these stickers, ship it off to Amazon. I'll profit about another $15 to $20 here. So I'm pretty positive we got our $100. I was inside the Goodwill for very, not very long at all, honestly. Oh, I forgot to mention this How to Rob a Bank. So there's one person undercutting everybody on Amazon right now. If I sent this into Amazon, I'd make about $2 on it because I spent three. Um, that's not really worth it. Well, if I price it um, at the next highest person, I would profit about 7 to $9, which is not bad. I'm just going to price it against somebody that's like $10, $15 higher because with Christmas coming up, all the low ballers are going to sell out and then it's going to be me. I'm going to be the only one left. So <laughs> I think that'll still uh, bring me at least... Um, five to ten dollars profit hopefully closer to the ten dollar range we're just gonna have to wait and see on that so I think I did pretty good a lot of these bright lights uh, really not a bad score at all definitely over a hundred dollars and we were in there for maybe 30 minutes probably not even maybe more like 20 minutes so definitely a solid score I'm very happy about it uh, we're gonna head to the house bring all this stuff inside and peel off all the stickers all right, so I just got home. Soph is eating her kibs. She likes to bring them around here and chew slowly. Good girl. Uh, pardon the mess of a countertop. I've been going through some things. So somebody reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I'd be interested in purchasing these binoculars off of him. He bought them at a... Um, Kmart that was going out of business. It is brand new. There's a couple little dings on the box, really nothing bad, but they're brand new, which is nice. Uh, I paid him $60 for them, and then I'm going to turn around and flip them on Amazon for about a $60 to $70-ish profit, so not bad. Thank you very much. If anybody else is restricted in anything, such as CDs or random items, don't be afraid to reach out to me over on my Instagram, which is also just Thrift School. You could easily find me there, and um, you know, ask me if I'm willing to buy anything in bulk, and I usually am if it's worth it for both of us. Make you 
a little bit of money, make me a little bit of money, and I'm happy. So yeah, very cool. Um, this is what's left of the Legos and Playmobil. I just have to list the stairs, list the fences, and list these little Playmobil guys. So that's not bad. I had to get all my Nintendo stuff returned to me because Nintendo randomly got gated on Amazon. And then the very next day, it was ungated. So this is some random stuff that got sent back to me. I was just checking it out. Some of this isn't even worth selling anymore. So I'll have that, you know, I'll just keep that. This disc, I don't even know what happened to the case. It was literally just floating around in the box. So that's weird. <laughs> um, and then this guy, which is still perfect. I'm going to ship him back in probably. But yeah, kind of a pain. Um, I've already shipped off probably 20 to 30 other items and more and more items are coming each day to my house from Amazon. So that's fun. And then some DVDs here that I was pulling from the basement that I found in a box that were unlisted. I listed all of these up. So we got some money right here. I still need to list these two. Um, so yeah, these ones right here, we listed what, one, two, three, four, five. So these are all on eBay right now. And I always just go a penny cheaper than the cheapest person on eBay. So if you're interested in any of these movies, I am the cheapest way to get them <laughs> at the moment. Um, that's what I do. I always click on buy it now. If it's new, I go to new listings. If it's used, I go to used listings and then I just sort by lowest price and then I price a penny lower or five cents lower, whatever it is. So that's how I list this stuff. Um, not bad. So that's what I'm going to do with these. This is brand new Beatles set and a used Pirates of the Caribbean uh, 4 movie collection. And But this is from the UK. So I don't think it would work on American players. Uh, I, I doubt it. I really have no idea. So yeah, that's fun. I'll probably test it. I'll put it, you know, what? I'm going to bring it in here. Let's pop it into the PlayStation. Now, I think the PlayStation is region free. I was watching It's Always Sunny. Um, I think the PlayStation is region free. So it might work. It might not. Look how dusty it is here. What the heck? All right. I was playing some Fallout 4 yesterday. Got to put it on my game shelf. Put it in the box. I play a lot of video games, guys. Probably spend too much time playing them, but I don't mind if you have a PlayStation. Uh, let me know down below in the comments and we can play. I play a lot of Dead by Daylight so and a lot of Apex Legends. So there's that. So let's test this guy out. Got the PlayStation loaded up. You can see I bought this at a uh, thrift store near me because I always write in Sharpie on the discs. All right. Here's my PlayStation. It's 155. There's my name. <laughs> We're going to pop this in, see if it works. I need to do some tidying up. It is, I got to dust this. Let's see if it works. I don't even own a Blu-ray player, so. Oh, there we go. There's my Dolphins controller. That's almost dead. Let's see if it, oh, it's completely dead. Okay, we're not using that. We'll use this one down here. That one has juice. Okay. I have another controller here and another controller there that I don't even know. I think that's from last night. <laughs> I need to clean. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it's working fine. So cool. Here we go. Yay. Here are all of my other DVDs listed on eBay at the moment. As you guys can see, there are quite a few and all of these are completely listed. Just waiting on them to sell. I uh, used to have a bunch up here. They've all sold. I, I want to reorganize a lot of this. I got some Harry Potter books right here that I get complete sets of and then I sell. Um, and then just some random stuff. So I've been trying to clean and organize some of this stuff. Same thing with this shelf right here. This is a huge lot of Legos that I have listed. Uh, here's a whole bunch of other Legos I have listed. I separated these and listed these separately. Trying to get the most bang for my buck. See what happens there. Uh, got a few things down here. Uh, nothing really great on this shelf. These are all just like extras and things that I have listed on eBay. I sold another Stop and Shop hat. If you guys watch my channel, I bought a whole bunch of Stop and Shop hats from somebody at a sale for I think a dollar or two each. And I guess I only have two left. I've sold the others. I just sold one for $30 yesterday. That is shipped off. 
and then I sold another one for 20. I could have sworn I had another one, no? Oh, I guess I only have four. Maybe I sold one way earlier, so I think I bought five originally. Not bad. We have a pair of Johnston and Murphys right here that I've listed. They're pretty darn clean. One of them has a couple marks somewhere, maybe on the heel. I don't remember where. These are really clean. If they were my size, I would have kept them. They're a little big, so I listed them. And then this one shirt that I've listed, this Fire D, um, I've been trying to sell this. I don't know why it's not moving. I think I'm going to drop the price another five bucks because I'm always trying to make sure my new thing that I'm doing with clothing, guys, I list it um, and I will list, let's say, five or ten pieces and then I wait for them to sell and then I list another five or ten or I'll just always try to have five to ten pieces in my store. I don't want to get over encumbered with clothing anymore. Uh, it's very slow moving and I've had this shirt for a, over a month now and it's just the way clothing is i don't want to have hundreds of pieces that sit for months uh, most of this stuff is kind of dud stuff that's been sitting for months there's like a nazi vhs tape tech deck that's still sitting a couple uh laser discs left and just some randomness so <laughs> that single delimo bin i've had that since i lived at my parents house uh, when I first started reselling about six or so years ago. So, yeah, <laughs> I've had that for a long time. It never sold. Uh, yeah, I should probably just toss it or donate it or something. But who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do? So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.